making a person feel rich. <clears throat> Fellow guardsmen, guests, today I have the honor of introducing Captain Crandall. He's going to be giving us a presentation on human value. The title of his speech is Making You Feel Rich. Captain Crandall. If you can help another person feel like a million bucks without it costing you a dime, would you be interested? If you only raised your hand halfway, I understand. It sounds like a gimmick. But wait, there's more. Helping another person to feel rich, valued, and significant is not only free to do, it requires no formal education or network marketing skills. Don't have to sell any Tupperware. Whew. However, the richness people will feel won't be measured in dollars and diamonds, but rather a heightened self-worth and a deepened self-confidence because someone, just like you, takes the time, invests the energy, and shows the interest just to get to know them. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and Guardsmen, I was 17 years old when a group of juvenile delinquents got to know me. We were all riding on a big old white bus with the words, Juvenile Work Detail Program, painted on the side. Do you have any idea how I felt sitting on that bus? Especially when I knew that two weeks later I was headed for Bible College where I could preach to people about staying out of trouble. But there I was, sitting between two other lawbreakers. The crook on my right turned to me and said, yeah, man, I'm on the bus for stealing $500 worth of clothes from Macy's. The hoodlum on my left. Uh, dude, that's nothing. I vandalized $10,000 worth of computers. Then the Macy's thief turned to me. What you on the bus for, man? I shot a pheasant. Out of season. Didn't know it was someone's pet like a calm before a storm. Mr. Macy's burst into laughter. He thought me being on the criminal bus for shooting a pheasant was the funniest thing he ever heard of. He felt the need to make an all-bus announcement. Yo, yo, fellas, my man here, he's on the bus for shooting someone's pet pheasant. Out of season. Okay, that's not what I wanted him to do with my information. But the whole bus busted up. They started fist bumping each other, high-fiving each other. I went from being a zero to a hero. You can't make this stuff up. Well, you can as Toastmasters, but I'm not. Yes, another criminal helped me to feel rich and famous. Sometimes the people in our lives never know how much they've helped us to feel rich. And you may never know how much you've helped someone else to feel rich. Like my dad, who five years in a row invested in me as my little league baseball coach. Awesome memories I will never forget. I wasn't the most valuable player on the team, but he made me feel like I was. Dad, thanks to you and mom, I feel like I'm one of the richest men in the world. Not a Donald Trump kind of rich, but a Donald Crandall kind of rich. And that day when you sat down next to the lady at the DMV while waiting for your number to be called for three and a half hours, you made her day. When you listened to her share about her failed marriage, the challenges of single parenting, and how glad she was to be done with her last chemo treatment. You drove away from the DMV with a renewed registration, but you left that single mom with a renewed spirit, feeling rich, just by giving her some heartfelt, undivided attention. And because caring people in my life have helped me to feel rich, 
how could I not show an interest in his life? His name was Miguel. No, he wasn't the Macy's thief on the big old white bus, but he was an ex-con who attended the recovery program at our church. I found out he was competitive, so we played softball together, countless games of ping pong, one-on-one, -on -one, and he attended our Toastmaster meetings. Interestingly, when our club members found out that he was recently released from prison for concealment of a deadly weapon, they all voted for him to win the Table Topics competition, just in case he was packing. <laughs> he was accepted and loved by the whole church and soon became the director of our recovery program. Miguel got a taste of what it meant to feel rich. And when he did, he helped dozens of others in recovery to feel the same. Fellow Toastmasters and fellow Guardsmen, when criminals take the time to listen to each other's stories, personal value emerges. When moms and dads invest energy in their kids, their children's self-worth is affirmed. And when churches show a genuine interest in the recovering Miguels of this world, even ex-cons feel like their lives matter. And that's because every single person is a gold mine just waiting for someone to show them their worth. Be the one that helps another person feel rich, and you will feel like a million bucks. What do you think? Suggestions, ideas?